Hey there guys, how you doing? Glad to meet up with you again. I got some some fun stuff I want to talk about. The last few videos we've done, we've been focusing on relationships. Building your relationships. When you gotta go out and raise money, it's not a it's not a an event. Like all of a sudden you need money. Uh, there's relationship building going on. It's a process you're gonna put together. And so we're talking about how do you build relationships with potential investors, right? Because when you build these relationships, it's a lot easier to get, raise money and get the right kind of money. So I want to talk about, you know, the big thing here is one of the things we talked about personal notes. And now I want to talk about uh, not, not eating alone, right? There's a book out uh, called never eat alone it's by uh what's his name of uh, 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 keith ferrazzi keith ferrazzi you had to go out and get that book it's a good book got a lot of tips uh but the key was he went out and, and and met with everybody and had lunch and all different kinds of things but he never ate alone and that's the key how many times do we go out and uh you know Go to lunch and just sit there and eat a sandwich by herself. You know, you got a marketing bud budget to co go out and find investors. You got to uh, reposition some of that budget towards uh, the skill of going out and, and never eating alone and just go out and, you know, meet these people. You're going to build a much stronger relationship with, with them when you go out and do this. I mean, you, it might roll into going out and doing events, doing whatever, just playing golf together, doing, you know, dinners or cocktails or whatever, just to get out there and get in front of these people, meet them, build that relationship. So when you do have a deal, you, you've got people to go to. And this is a great way to do that. I had a, a, a friend of mine uh, named Tony Sarno. Uh, he worked for, uh, with, uh, as part of his company, American Resource Corporation and they would go out and buy portfolios of properties and reposition them and, and sell them off and I was brought on to you know hired to uh, dispose, dispose of the assets once they once they got them on uh, this is a long time ago but here's a guy Tony Sarno right uh, hey you're a pretty tomato <laughs> that's what you tell these these ladies this is down in Century City area and uh, he had a membership to the Playboy Club. So, you know, he would take everybody that he knows that he wants to stay in contact with and build relationships, he'd take them to the Playboy Club. It had a little bit of wow factor, right? So he'd take them there, have lunch, uh, and then go. And then every once in a while he had nobody to go with, he'd bring me. But uh, yeah, that, that's uh, what he did. And uh, he was very successful, built the company to over a billion dollar company. Um, another guy named Fred Hemetman, Cal American, another syndicator. Uh, he's been around 48 years now. Um, he would do the same thing. He had like two Rolodexes, pack full of, of, of contacts. He would do the same thing. He would go out and meet people uh, and have lunch and, uh, you know, trying to build those relationships. So, you know, going out and meeting people you know, build the, those relationships. When you go out and do that, you get your eyeball to eyeball, right? Your eyeball to eyeball, which means they they can see your eyeballs, so they, so they can see how serious you are, and you can see how serious they are, right? So it's better to do it in person. Now, if you can't get out and meet people uh, with meetings, you obviously could do it over a webinar. Webinar is not as, as good because you don't really get to see the nonverbal communication. You don't really get to see the what's going on. So if you get out and get and, and get uh, reservations made and, and meet with these different people, um, your relationships are really going to skyrocket. Um, there was another guy I wanted to tell you about too. What was his name? Uh, let me see here. Oh yeah, I want to tell you about uh, Carlos Foss. Uh, here's a guy that he's in Texas. He came here. I found out about him. Uh, multifamily News Magazine. He was interviewed on there. 
So I thought, you know what, I want to learn more about him. So Nikki and I flew out to, uh, to Dallas, met him at his restaurant where he meets everybody called Maximo's. And we met him and, and talked to him and, and interviewed him. And what we found out was he has all his investor meetings right there. And he doesn't eat alone. He's bringing people in and talking to him about what he's doing. Uh, and um, he's built his, well, the, back then he built his portfolio up to 4,500 units in like three years. He came from Brazil. He didn't know how to speak real great, great English. Uh, he didn't know anybody didn't have a job but he hustled and uh, he started off doing houses did a bunch of houses on the East Coast and then rolled into Texas and started buying properties in, in Dallas and he, his sole thing was everybody at the Maximos knew who, who, knew who he was he was he was uh, you know hey there's Carlos and so you know he kind of looked good to investors he brought in and that's how he built his uh, his core of investors through those investor meetings. So I want you to start thinking about uh, picking a spot where you can go to and meet someone that the client, the uh, people that work there get to know you. They call you by name and, and you, 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 you kind of build a little bit of credibility and you go out and meet, and meet them. These guys, your potential investors. Um, and I think it's going to be extremely valuable. It was, was for me because I did this as well. But you guys can do the same thing. You're, you're trying to raise money. This is a great way to do it. Last time we talked about personal notes. You know, when you get outside a meeting, you're going to write a note right there. And you're going to put it in the local mailbox and you're going to mail it. So they get it the next day. And, uh, you know, that that's real important to to. to build those relationships so you, know, you can you could take them golfing whatever you just got to build those relationships and, and here we're talking about never eating alone you got to get that book uh, never eat alone go figure and uh, and he talks in depth about some things you can do but but I just want to give it the big picture of you know thinking about how you can implement this strategy and uh, start to build some relationships build some contacts, and build some resources you can go to to raise money. I hope that helps you guys. Um, if you want more information, go to valuehandacademy.com, uh, and there's all kinds of free information about everything. Got over 600 videos, uh, content, articles, uh, interviews, uh, videos on, on subjects. But uh, I enjoyed it. Catch up with you later. Bye-bye.